If you look at the satellites around Earth, you will see solar panels on them. But if you see Cassini satellite on Saturn or New Horizon satellite on Pluto, they do not have solar panels. This can be attributed to a number known as solar constant. Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Streamlined. Solar constant tells us how much solar power is available per square meter of surface at Earth. Using solar constant, we can figure out how much power we will get from the solar panels on the satellites. Let's see how solar constant is calculated. From Stephen Boltzmann law, we get E is equal to sigma t to the power 4, where E is the radiant energy emitted per unit area, sigma is the Stephen Boltzmann constant, and T is the temperature of the hot body. Considering the temperature of sun's surface as 5777 Kelvin, the radiant em energy emitted per unit area by sun comes to be 6.31 into 10 to the power 7 watt per meter square. To calculate the total radiant energy emitted by sun, we multiply the value of E sun with the total area of sun. Considering sun to be a sphere, we can write surface area of sun as 4 pi r square, where r is the radius of the sun. Sun has a diameter of 1.393 into 10 to the power 9 meter. Putting the values, we get the total radiant energy emitted by sun equal to 3.85 into 10 to the power 26 watts. Now let's imagine a sphere around sun equal to the distance between the sun and the earth. The total radiant energy emitted by sun goes to the earth's orbit and is all spread over the sphere with a radius equal to the distance between the sun and earth. This radius is earth's mean distance from the sun since earth's orbit around sun is elliptical and not circular. We can say the total radiant energy from the sun at the earth as total radiant energy emitted by sun divided by 4 pi r square where r is the mean distance between the sun and the earth. The value of r earth to sun distance is 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter. This distance is also known as one astronomical unit. Now putting all the values we get solar constant equal to 1369 watt per meter square. This is the solar flux the satellites will receive around Earth. Now let's calculate the solar flux reaching Pluto. The distance between Sun and Pluto is 39.3 astronomical units. If we keep the constant terms of the equation on the right hand side, we can write the equation as then we can write the radiant energy from the Sun reaching Earth multiplied by Earth Sun distance square equal to the radiant energy from sun reaching Pluto multiplied by Pluto sun distance square. On rearranging we get substituting the values we get 0 0.886 watt per meter square solar constant at Pluto. Similarly for Saturn the distance between sun and Saturn is 9.5 astronomical units. On substituting the values we get 15.17 watt per meter square solar constant at Saturn. We can see very low values of solar constant at planets far away from Sun. So the satellites around these planets do not use solar panels and instead use a radio isotope thermoelectric generator to power the systems. I hope you like this explanation. Kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos.